All right, welcome back to Ag Life with my buddy Troy Miller. Troy, I tell you what, had a great time being at your barn, the Miller barn today, and gives a chance for, we don't get a chance to play that often together. Not enough, and I sure enjoyed having you here today, and you're always welcome, and uh, I just love it out here in the barn. It's therapeutic for it sure me. Sure is, sure is. Now, speaking of that, you've wrote many songs. Uh, you're known as the Warwick County Cowboy. Let's talk about that a little bit, that song you wrote. Well, uh, Warwick County Cowboy, uh, I wrote it for some friends of mine, and, and I'm a big Merle Haggard fan, and he always said, write about things you know, and about yourself or whatever, so I just wrote about all these little towns that I grew up around, and uh, tied stories that I've heard other people tell me, and made a little little tall tale, you might yeah. say. Yeah, Merle Haggard, the poet of a common man, right? Yes, sir, yes, <laughs> well, sir. Well, let's do some common music here. Let's do one that you wrote. You, you got one picked out here? Yeah, I've got one that I uh, wrote about the old Sterling Brewery. It used to be in Evansville. I have so many uh, friends and fans who, or families who worked at the brewery, and uh, when I wrote the song, it was before the Sterling Girls, and uh, <laughs> I always thought it'd be cool to write a song about it, so this one's called Sterling Girls. Okay, Sterling Girls. Let's do it for all those Sterling Girls. All right. The three states combined. <laughs> yeah, love them all. Good stuff right there. Hey, where can they find your music, Troy? And I know this is uh, one of your albums you released. 
Yes, this is my latest uh, album. It's all original songs that I've written the past uh, 25, 30 years, actually. I, some of them I wrote in study hall in my senior year. <laughs> and uh, I've always had an overactive imagination. And I love all kinds of music. And uh, there's a, a pirate song on there called Scurvy Kills No More. It's a sea shanty that uh, I woke up one morning in this house and it was in my head. And I went to the next room, found a pen and paper, and doo -doo -doo -doo, <laughs> it was done. The art of songwriting. And then other times you try to write songs and they just won't come. And I've been, I've been working on trying to do that too, but uh, that was one of the songs I'm proud of. I always thought it could be in like the Par Pirates of the Caribbean. I can see that, yeah. yeah. A good one to <laughs> do that. Well, now, you play locally around the tri state, some of the places they, folks can see you if they want to find you. Yeah, I'm at the Deerhead about every Sunday. Uh, I've been there for like maybe 14, 15 years. I've lost count. I thought it was going to be one Sunday, <laughs> and it's been that many years. And it's a fantastic place to work, great food, great people. And uh, we have folks from all over the tri state area. I had some folks last Sunday from Morganfield, Kentucky, from Mount Carmel, uh, from Vincennes, you know, Owensboro, all around the Tri-State. I know you week. got a great following and, and I think the biggest part of that is you're just a humble guy. We, we love you, man. We really do. Well, Thanks for being a part of our show. It's mutual. I, I love you and I love, I love where we grew up and the people around us. We're so fortunate and I think people don't stop and, and stop and appreciate what they, yeah. they had, what we have. And, right. and I think about it all the time. Yeah. Let's take about on uh, the song we just did, The Sterling Girl. We'll be back with more Ag Life right after this. Take us out, Troy. From Boonville to Jockey, I used to dream About fights in Tennyson and rodeo queens I've never been to heaven, I've never been to hell 